Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Terraria Let's Play. Thank you so much as always for all of your lovely support throughout this series, I very much do appreciate it my friends. And, would you believe this channel is now 10 years old? Yesterday I put out a little bit of an update video, slash a little talky video commemorating 10 years. So here we are starting a brand new decade here of Python GB content my friends. And I'm very very excited to keep on going, I really really am. So as always, if you guys are still excited for the series, the best way to show your support, of course, is by dropping a like. If we can go for 1,000 likes in this episode, that would be absolutely beautiful. And enough to tell me that you guys are still excited and want to continue seeing more of the series. Now, we're actually going to start off today here with the comment of the video. Raymond Ann says, I think Meteor Leggings will suit the set well since it gives a decent amount of defense and also it's a magic set. You are absolutely correct with that one. Not only that, but it also gives a slight increase to the amount of magic damage we do. So yeah, guys, we are going to begin today by going ahead and mining out the meteorite that landed in the last episode. So what we're going to start off by doing, though, is making ourselves an obsidian skull just so we can go ahead and, well, you know, eradicate that possibility of dying, right? You know, burning to death. <laughs> There we are. Obsidian school obtained. We're heading over to the meteorite. And what do you know, my friends? It is literally right here in the snow biome, neighboring our base. So we haven't had to go very far to find this place, eh? <laughs> So let's go ahead and mine as much of this as we can, or more to the point, we'll mine to the point where this is no longer classed as a meteorite biome, and then, yeah, we'll go ahead and see what we can make with all of this beautiful meteorite that we are picking up. Wait a minute, real quick... Can I blow this up now that we are past the Eater of Worlds? No, okay, good. -o. So I'm not being stupid. <laughs> you see, I discovered that in my 1.3.5 Calamity Death Mode Let's Play that we couldn't go ahead and blow up Meteorite anymore. But for some reason in my mind, I thought that they made it so that you can explode it so long as you are actually at the correct point in the game in which you get Meteorite, which of course, at this point, is past the Eater of Worlds. But uh, yeah, no, you still can't blow this stuff up. Not yet. Anyway, maybe we could do it in hard mode. I, I can't remember if I'm being honest with you. Alrighty, my friend. So any minute, oh goodness me, any minute now, we should have this turned back into a snow biome. And, well, by the sounds of the music, I think we've just about achieved that. All right, very, very cool. So then, 460 meteorite ore. That is way more than enough to make over 100 meteorite bars, which is kind of crazy. 153, to be exact. <laughs> That's not a lot or anything, is it? All right, we do have ourselves the star cannon, of course. Wow, when was the last time we made this bad boy, eh? I mean, to be honest, we can make literally every single bit of gear here that we want. So, of course, we'll start off here with the meteorite armor. Some of you guys were saying that the meteorite armor actually completely negates the Zapponator's mana requirement. Kind of similar to the space gun. But anyways, talking of the space gun, there it is. There's the meteor hammax, which is beautiful. Oh, minus speed. That's not very cool, is it? All right, but the hammock max means that we can save ourselves a space on our hotbar here, which is great. And do you know what, ladies and gentlemen? Do you know what? We're going to do it. We're actually going to do it. We're making the star cannon. 56 ranged damage. And the fallen stars themselves don't do damage, so it is just 56 damage. So it's not like 56 damage plus the little ammo damage here as well. So yeah, all right, that's still pretty cool, right? Do we want to buy another mini shark? I'm going to go with the answer of yes, because we're going to need it for the eventual mega shark, right? So yeah, probably a good idea. Right, so the next good idea I have in mind is using my remaining gold coins here to actually do a little bit of reforging. We do a little bit of reforging. And then we should have ourselves some slightly better weaponry, my friendos. All right, so there you are. Hello there, Statson. What have you got here for me? We have ourselves the Vile Thorn. Um, I don't really want plus... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's better. I'll take that. I'll take that any day. The Zapinator. Oh, that's a little bit on the expensive. Oh, my gosh. Ah, actually, that's kind of cool. Sighted Star Cannon. That's even better. All right. What do we have here, though? Boom. Ah, oh, that's not cool. Oh, that's not cool either. Oh, that's not very good either. Come on, man. A little bit of plus damage for your boy. That'd be kind of nice, eh? Come on. 
Oh no, we've run out of uh, <laughs> we've run out of decent reforges. So let's go ahead and put your guys' comments to the test, shall we? Okay, so it says uses 13 mana. We put the full meteorite armor on, and it still uses 16 mana. Wait, what? No, it doesn't. Huh? That's kind of ridiculous. Is that a bug? It says it uses 16 mana, but it really doesn't. <laughs> Is that a bug? I have absolutely no idea. I mean, the space gun here, as you can see, does not require mana because, you know, that is the buff that you get with the meteorite armor. But the Zappinator still says you require mana, but in fact, you do not. So, uh, yeah. Could be a bug, could not be a bug, I've no idea. How many times have we been completely wiped out of money in this series so far, huh? <laughs> oh, we are once again in the poor house, ladies and gentlemen. But hey-ho, it was worth getting some slightly better weaponry. So yeah, I'm not going to complain about it. Alrighty, what have we got here? Underground Tundra for a fishing quest. <laughs> hey guys, check it out. My little mine carp thing is like animated as well. Ha! I love that, dude. Look at look at his little mouth bobbing. <laughs> Alrighty, my friends. The mutant flinks fin, I think it was called. Oh, huh, that was easy. What you got for me, buddy? A fish hook. Wait, don't we already have that? Uh, yes, we do. Huh. Do you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I am kind of feeling confident right now. I feel like we could potentially take down Skeletron. What do you guys think, eh? Could it be something we could do? I have a feeling the answer might be yes. I mean, at the end of the day, when it comes to Skeletron in Master Mode, you need only be able to move around with absolute ease, right? I mean, being able to dodge all of his attacks is the way to go. There's no doubt about it. So we are going to see if our overpowered Zappinator Meteorite Armor loadout is going to be enough to take on and defeat Skeletron. I mean, to be honest, if this loadout is going to be enough for Skeletron, then uh, yeah, there's no doubt about it. It's going to be kind of an overpowered combo, isn't it? <laughs> All right, a little bit of that. Get this guy out of the game real quick. Put down one of these bad boys. Get ourselves a little bit of buffage in the form of of the well-fed buff. We are going to zoom our way out of here and we are going to get this thing on the road, my friendo. So, the Zappinator. Curse this guy. Yeah! The only thing is... <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is not a full auto gun. So, we're gonna have to be kind of careful here. Come on. Oh, wow. Got a lot of defense there, huh, buddy? All right, come on. Maybe every now and again, the Zappinator will go ahead and do its ridiculous, like, 10 times damage attack thing. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. All right. So far, so good. If these normal guys could please go away, that'd be fantastic. Go on. Go, go, go. I ain't having no more of this nonsense, okay? All right. As you can see, Skeletron is taking some pretty heavy damage on occasion. I mean, yeah. He's got about two-thirds health. Nope, okay, he just took maybe about a thousand damage there. Did you guys see that? Was it a thousand damage? Am I seeing things? I don't know, man. <laughs> this is a ridiculous loadout, though, man. It's ridiculous. Truly ridiculous. Come on, come on. Let's have ourselves some more ridiculousness. I'm, I'm feeling the ridiculousness right now, man. I really, really am. Come yeah, on. 505 damage. I definitely did see that one. Wow. <laughs> This is so dumb, man! What an overpowered loadout! It is utterly overpowered! Utterly, utterly overpowered, ladies and gentlemen. This has got to be a bug. It's as simple as that. There's no way the meteorite armor should be going ahead and completely negating the Zappinator's uh, mana requirement. It's utterly, utterly, utterly stupid. It truly is. Okay, come on. Okay, taking a little bit of string of damage here, though, my friends. We've still got to be careful. If you guys are wondering about a nice overpowered loadout for the Skeletron boy, uh, look no further, my friends. Look no further. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. You're not slapping me, sir. Go on. We need one of the, like, ten times damage attacks to come out here. That'd be great. Oh, what else would be great is not dying. I am very low on health here, my friends. Come on. Okay, I'm mashing the health button here. 
Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, I was too busy trying to mash the health. I wasn't really paying attention to where I was going. Uh, so, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. We just got to not get ruined here. 700 health. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Python. Come on, Python. I believe in you, buddy. I believe in you. 200 health. No, you do not. He is dead, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. Wow. <laughs> wow. Just, just, just wow. That is utterly stupid, ladies and gents. The meteorite armor plus the gray zappinator. I, I never thought in a thousand years to even give that combo a try, but here we are. It might be broken. That's literally what the tooltip says. It might be broken. It might actually be broken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, out of that, we got ourselves a Skeletron mask, which is kind of okay. We do have ourselves this uh, bone glove accessory here as well. Shoots crossbones at enemy while you are attacking. Very, very cool, my friends. Very cool indeed. So, needless to say, all this means we can go ahead and explore the Dungeoni now, which is beautiful. And to be honest, the only real thing I want to get out of there, well, eh, actually, I was going to say maybe the only thing we want to get out of there is actually the Cobalt Shield to get ourselves the Obsidian Shield. But to be honest, I'm kind of feeling that we try and get everything. So here we are, going into the dungeon, my friend. Now, obviously, one of the coolest things we could find early on, potentially, is the water bolt. So, if we could try and get ourselves one of those bad boys, that would be a beautiful. We're going to pick up all of these water candles as we go along, if we want to be going ahead and making ourselves some nice little arenas later down the line. Uh, wow. How weird. Look at this, man. You can get into the dungeon from here. That is so peculiar. You should not be able to do that. Oh my gosh. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> There's the water bot, my friendos. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm realizing that we probably should have bought with us a danger sense potion. Ah, uh, what do you guys think, eh? Should we go ahead and uh, play it, you know, better safe than sorry? Should we head back to base, get ourselves some danger sense potions? I think that'll be a marvelous idea. I really, really do, my friends. <laughs> Look at that as well. We've got 30 minutes worth of danger sense potions. That is marvelous. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and raid a bunch of chests, get ourselves a whole ton of loot, and then we'll probably wrap up the episode after that, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, we've had a nice action-packed one so far, and I'm really pretty good about what we've managed to accomplish today. I really, really am. All right. Danger Sense Potion. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Get screwed, you silly skelly butt. <laughs> I defeated your master with absolute ease, so, you know, you can all basically go suck on that. <laughs> hey, Dungeoni Slimes. Yeah, we need a big old supply of these guys if we're going to be raiding every single chest inside this place. There's another key just in here, which is absolutely wonderful. The jungle chest is down to my bottom right. That is also pretty wonderful. Don't mind if I do, my friendos. What I usually like to do is go ahead and torch spam the ever-living poop out of these chests so I can go ahead on the mini-map and locate all these things real easily. So, yeah, pretty cool, huh? All right, let's go find ourselves some of these here gold chests and let's get this show on the road, shall we? What we got here? The Muramasa, one of the old, all-time greats, my friendos. Will you please go ahead and die there, sir? No, no, stupid dark casters. Out, son of a gun, man. Fucking absolutely ruined here, my friends. This isn't very good, is it? All right, there's the handgun. Hey, we got ourselves a tally counter. What? Oh my gosh. What the heck happened there? He just got flung up in the air, man. <laughs> so apparently the Zappinator has a fling everybody up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's got a fling everybody up in the air attack. Oh, hey, there's the mechanic. Hey, buddy. Good to see you. We've got an alchemy station as well, which is absolutely fantastic. We can finally get our potion ingredients branch uh, finished on the treehouse thingy. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? That is a big painting. Holy crappers. <laughs> it's kind of cool as well, isn't it? What actually is it? Some sort of factions poster. Trio superheroes? Huh. That is kind of cool, huh? Yeah, that's right. The power of the pew. Very, very good, isn't it? 
<laughs> oh, that dungeon slime is kind of ruining my face, though. Gotta be- Ah! There's a trap up there. There's a trap up there. Gotta be careful, my friendos. Even despite Danger Sense Potion, sometimes, like, the dead giblet of the dudes I'm killing, they sometimes obscure the, uh, the little pressure plates on the floor. Ah! Nope, not again there, son. Not again. All right, real quick. Oh, there's the Aqua Scepter. Ooh, okay, got some cool stuff. Will you please stop it, you stupid freaking mage set? I am the only mage in this existence, sir. Hey, look at that, a painting of the underworld. That's kind of cool. Glory of the fire is what it's called. Whoa, there's a small army down there, ladies and gentlemen. All right, there's only one thing to do at a time like this. Place down a platform and go to town. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nearly 500 damage a piece on those guys. <laughs> All right, we've got ourselves the Valor inside of uh, this chest here, which is very cool. There's actually another water bolt here. Hurtful. Hmm. Manic versus hurtful. We've got more damage here, or we've got less damage, more speed, and less manic cost. Duh, I like damage. I like damage. We're going to go for the damage, my friend. Those. Hey, Clothia Voodoo Doll! Nice one! Alright, so if we wanted to go ahead and summon in Skeletrons in future, we now can. Good sweet lord, that's a lot of water candles. Get out of here. Imagine if the effect of water candles start. Like, that'd be kind of ridiculous, huh? <laughs> Imagine the spawn rates you could achieve with that. Oh, nice. We've got two of the biome chests in this room here. The corruption chest, which of course has the scourge of the corruptor, one of the all-time great weapons. And we have ourselves the desert chest here as well, which has the desert tiger staff, I think it's called. Uh, oh, goodness. Get out of here. I don't like... Gosh darn it. You suck. I didn't even die to your master, and yet these little cronies can kill me. What a bunch of poo that is. Talk about raining on my parade. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> I'm hilarious. Hey, look at that, a Blood Moon painting. <laughs> That's kind of cool. And uh, check it out as well, my friends. We've also found ourselves another biome chest here, the Hallowed Chest. We've also got ourselves a whopping great dungeon pool here. So we could do a bit of dungeon fishing for those little lock boxes if we really needed to later down the line. Uh, so yeah, we're not doing too bad. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, yes! We just got the Nazar pre-hard mode, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, fantastic. The reason why I'm so happy about that is because historically, I've always been very, very bad at getting the Nazar early on. And then I spend quite a lot of hard mode figuring out why I can't get in Nazar. But here we are. We got it pre-hard mode, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, that is a terrible place for a chest. Am I just going to have to tank this? I think I am, actually. All right. Oh, no. Not when there's these little freaking teleporting dudes around. No. No, stupid wizards. Get out of here. Get out of here. Like I said, there's only one mage in this town, and that's me. You want the title of best mage? You're going to have to freaking pry it from my cold, dead hands. Get out of here, son. Get out. Oh, for goodness sake. Come on, man, dude. I just want to get this thing done. <laughs> Is that too much to ask, son? Is that too much to ask? Come on, man. I didn't even die to Skeletron, and yet I'm dying many times to these stupid skeleton idiots. Ah. Then again, we don't have a great amount of defense when we do go down there. Uh -uh. Ah. Oh, well. Come on, one last foray down into the dungeon, and I think we'll be golden, my friendos. Honestly, all teleporting mage mobs in this game have a special place in the Terraria underworld, man. Stop teleporting on me! I hate it, man! It keeps catching me unawares, and then wherever I wind up jumping, I get caught off guard to the point where I wind up not reaching my destination, getting spiked, and then just having a bad time. Look at that, I'm almost dead again! Oh, for goodness sake, man! Stop! 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 I'm getting so annoyed. I'm getting so annoyed. Come on, Craig. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. There must only be a couple more chests left now. I feel like I've explored a very, very great amount of the dungeon now. Oh, but I cannot wait to see the back of it. I cannot wait to see the back of it. I hate it so much. I just keep getting caught in corners, man. In one way or another, I keep getting caught in corners or I get teleported upon. 
Like, oh, my patience is wearing very thin now, my friend. All right, there's a magic missile. Still no sign of a cobalt shield, I've noticed. Will you stop bunny hopping towards me? This is not Call of Duty. Screw off! Oh, great. Yeah, I need to get down that alley, and I cannot because there's a small friggin' army. How oh, great. Thank you very much there, Terraria. Thank you. Come on. I'd like to be done with this place now. Uh, and not have to come back here for a very, very long time because this place sucks! Please tell me there's a cobalt shield within one of these two lock chests because if not, I'm going to be kind of annoyed. Okay, no, there it is. Okay, good. Oh, right. Fantastic. I do believe that we have just about explored all of the dungeon as well. Wow, that's a lot of damage. All right, what have we got in this one? Another Miramasa. Uh, okay, kind of cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of these here potionies. And look at that. There's actually a mushroom biome nearby with a heart crystal. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, aside from that, look at that. We have literally explored the entire dungeon. I do not believe that there's anything more to explore. We've got all these little pits here, but they all go down to either spike traps or they go down to little ponds in which we can fish. But yeah, that is it, my friends. We have done the deed. It is done. And I don't want to have to go back there for a very long time because it sucks. It sucks a lot of poo. All right. At the very least, though, my friends, we can go ahead and make the obsidian shield, which is the big thing we were looking for. Now, if we could get warding. There we are. That's fantastic. That's exactly what I am looking for. Just for once, we actually got the things we were looking for. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, dungeon explored. Obsidian shield obtained. A whole bunch of major weaponry gotten up to scratch. And and we've discovered the true power of the great Zappinator. So, on that note, it's time to end the episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure, of course, to drop a like. I very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, my friends. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>